a tradition that's been going on for a number of years now, and, then, and there's over 40 different commemorative plantings on the grounds from, diff from the presidents and first ladies. And so this is why it's so great today that the Obamas are continuing this tradition of planting commemorative trees on the White House grounds. Of course, the grounds are maintained by the National Park Service, and so they were heavily involved getting the tree unloaded off the truck, uh, having a crane here, being able to lift it over into the hole, and, and getting it straight, getting the tree um, into the hole and packed so it stays straight and be ready for the planting today. It's a nice looking tree. How you like? A uh, little leaf linden is just, you know, it's a great tree. It gets 40 to 50 feet tall. President Roosevelt brought the Olmsted brothers in here in 1935 and they came up with this landscape plan that we're using today on the White House grounds. I mean like the north grounds and the south grounds, not the gardens. And so uh, these are kind of how the Olmsted brothers laid these, these trees out and everything's been marked. And so today we're still following the Olmsted plan at maintaining the north and south grounds in the open areas.